Hi guys. Now, in this video, I'm going to teach you on the concept of work, energy and power. Now, this will be subtopic 2.10 in chapter 2. Okay. Now, for work, I'll start with work first, guys, then I'll go to energy and then I'll go to power. Now, work over here, if you look at the definition, work is defined as the product. of force and displacement okay the product of force and displacement now where your displacement will be in the direction of force now most students they tend to remember the definition of work as a product of force and displacement. I don't blame you all because if you look at the formula for work, work is given to you as force times with displacement. Okay. And the unit for work over here is given to you as joule with the symbol G. Okay. Now, this one uh, is your formula. For work actually you have learned this before last time in form 2 hopefully you guys still remember but the definition is the one that is a little bit new like guys eh? product of force and displacement and then they have added over here in the direction of force now what does it mean over here guys eh? in the direction of force now let me demonstrate to you okay first let's take a few situations eh? now this person over here is carrying an object okay now this person is carrying the object from point a all the way to point b okay now so you can see the one that i've labeled over here blue in color this is your object guys so this person is carrying it from point a all the way to point b now my question to you is no matter how heavy this particular object is, you can see in his hands, uh, this object, okay, he brings it from point A to point B. No matter how heavy this object is, my question, is there work done? Now, in this case over here, we say no work done, okay? If you have problems in imagination, guys, uh, I just want you to imagine you go to the Pasamalam, and you buy things over here, uh, groceries, whatever, and you're carrying in the plastic bag and you're walking home. Now, technically, when you carry your plastic bag, all with the groceries and you're walking home, you are not doing any work. Now, you go home, your mother will tell you over here, oh, you've done so much work on my son, my daughter, but technically, you're not doing any work. Now, why in physics you're not doing any work? It's because, watch this, guys, eh? your weight of the object will act downwards, Okay. Now, your movement is basically over here, forward, which is to the right, okay? Now, this is what we call perpendicular. You see, yeah? your weight is going down, your movement over here is moving forward. So, technically, this is what you call perpendicular. Now, if this, your motion in front and your weight going down, if it's perpendicular to each other, we say no work done okay now the reason why there's no work done because your weight and also over here your motion is perpendicular now when they say in the direction of force what they're trying to explain to you is your displacement or your force and displacement must be over here parallel okay your force and your displacement must be over here parallel to each other. All right, guys. Now, this is one example, the definition over here for work. All right. Product of force and displacement in the direction of force. And I told you what, your force and your displacement must be parallel to each other. Okay. Now, over here, if it's perpendicular, remember, no work done. All right. Now, in my next video, I'm going to give you two examples of what I meant over here by parallel. All right.